Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at an example of how to calculate producer surplus, consumer surplus, and total surplus. So let's look at this uh, demand curve and supply curve. So this is my demand curve and this is my supply curve. And the demand and supply curves intersect at price equals 40 and quantity demanded equals quantity supplied at 30 units. Now if I'm given this scenario and I'm asked to calculate producer surplus and consumer surplus, then first, okay, let's look at consumer surplus. Now let's think about the demand curve, which is the top part, which represents the consumers. One point here in the demand curve is basically one individual consumer. Now each point here represents a different consumer, and there could be hundreds or thousands or even millions of consumers in the market. Now in that case, if I want to measure this person, let's say this person's willingness to purchase the product is 70. That means that this person is going to pay up to $70 to purchase this product. Now this person is able to purchase it for $40. That means that this person feels like he has gained $30 by purchasing the product because he would have paid or she would have paid it $70 for this product, but instead it's only costing this person $40. So in effect, this person feels like he or she is $30 richer. So this is the surplus for that individual. Now for all the people who are purchasing the product, which represents all these individuals up till this point, the consumer surplus is therefore this area of this triangle. So what is the area of the triangle? So if we are calculating consumer surplus, it's half times base times height. So the base here is this area, this length, which is 0 to 30. So this whole thing is the base. So it is half times 30 times the height here is this length. So it's 90 minus 40, which is 50. So it comes out to be half times 1500, which is about $750. So this is my consumer surplus. Now, if I want to look at producer surplus, that is, I want to know how much do producers gain in the market. Producer surplus is basically the profit earned by all the firms in the industry. Now, let's look at this one firm right here. Supposing this one firm, that firm's cost of production is $10. It, produce, uh, it costs this person or this firm $10 to produce the product and this, per, uh, this firm is able to sell it for $40. So this firm is making a profit of $30. This firm, let's say, the cost of production is $30. The firm is selling at $40. So this firm is actually making a profit of $10. So the total profit in the industry is the area of this purple rectangle. So again, we're doing the same idea. We have producer surplus, which is half times base times height. Let's take this to be the base. So this is my base, which is 40. So half times 40 is my base. My height is this length, which is 30 times 30, which equals to half times 1200, which comes out to $600. So my consumer surplus is $750, my producer surplus is $600. My total surplus is basically the sum of producer surplus and consumer surplus, which is the area of this whole triangle or the sum of this green triangle and this purple triangle. Total surplus is telling us how much does the market gain or how much does the whole society gain because the market exists. So because this product is traded in the market, how much do producers gain by producing it and how much do consumers gain by purchasing the product? So it is equal to 750 plus 600, which comes out to be $1,350. So this is how we calculate producer surplus, consumer surplus, and total surplus for a product in the, that's being traded in the market.